I'm going to talk about uh, effectively three projects that are highly interrelated. It's uh, even sometimes quite difficult to disentangle them. So I'm not going to attempt that. Uh, but you will hear big hit pitches and something that's missing from the his surfing turf. Just quickly about ITM. Uh, we're not new kids on the block. We've been around more than 20 years. Uh, we've got some good strategic investors, uh, JCB being one of them. We recently expanded to 100 staff. Um, we've got a manufacturing business model and an own and operate model of the hydrogen fueling stations we have in London. Uh, the other stuff, the power to gas and various other equipment uh, is just a straightforward sale. But that's enough of my history. Okay, this project I'm talking about today is up in the Orkneys. And you can see the Orkneys are about 10 miles off uh, the Scottish coast. Um, they've got a bit of a problem in as far as they, um, in short, have about 130% renewable energy, electrical energy, of the energy requirement that the island actually needs. So they've got a huge amount of surplus. Um, that's led to um, quite some problems uh, in as far as you can see here, how much they're actually constrained of. When, uh, these projects started, uh, they were expected to be constrained off about 20% of the time, and it's become a lot more simply because they've built out so much more. So, um, this is one of the companies that's involved. Uh, it's EMEC, uh, the European Marine Energy Centre. Um, they have a limit of uh, four megawatts of export. Uh, it's a tidal company, um, and they test tidal machines. Obviously, uh, they've got fantastic um, tidal power up there, but the problem is they're constrained in expansion with this sort of network constraint on export to the mainland. So they sat down and thought, what are we going to do with, uh, if we are going to expand, how are we going to expand with these constraints? And they uh, basically alighted on hydrogen, and they bought a half a megawatt electrolyzer from us, which you can see is on the island of E-Day. Um, it's connected to the wind turbine and the storage. I'll get through where it all goes in a minute. Um, it ultimately led, as you can see on this slide on E-Day, we've now got more things. One is a half a megawatt wind turbine. The wind turbine and the tidal turbine uh, basically is used um, to avoid being constrained off. Um, when they're used, they get the payments, they're fits, and they can sell the hydrogen. Uh, when they're constrained off, they get nothing. Uh, so basically, the uh, EMEC decision led to a thing called surf and turf. The surf is clearly the, um, the tidal machine, and the turf is the wind turbine. Um, that hydrogen is produced uh, to bring various benefits to Orkney, um, one of them being training courses for hydrogen ships. Now, the IMO recently said they were going to go to 50% clean energy by 2050. We've been waiting for the International Marine Organization to do something. Um, and there are no training crew, or there's no training currently for the crew, so it creates some jobs up there. Um, the 75 kilowatt CHP unit, um, let me go back one slide, is here. And I'll come and explain what that's about in a minute. Um, it's about uh, the ferries. So they've got ferries in the harbour, which you can see there. The 75 kilowatt fuel cell takes the hydrogen from E-Day, uh, puts it into the fuel cell, and it provides CHP, or uh, heat and power, for the ferries, so they're not burning uh, diesel in the harbour. There is also, we'll come to it in a minute, that's one of the trailers that moves the hydrogen around. Um, this has also now led to another project called Big Pitches, uh, Big Pitches, sorry, Big Hit and Pitches. Big Hit is funded by the FCGHU, Pitches is funded by uh, the, Brit the British government, and this is what it does. It basically does the same as the wind turbine on E-Day, except it's a one megawatt unit on Shatton's A. It's a community uh, turbine. The uh, hydrogen is generated in much the same fashion as on the other island. It is also shipped to the mainland. They're using the 75 kilowatt fuel cell, which is this cold ironing, uh, i.e. providing heat and power to the ship so they don't burn diesel in the harbour. But there's also a fleet of community or um, council-owned fuel cell vehicles, uh, 10 FC vehicles in total, uh, 
um, which is fed from a dispenser that we supplied to the island as well. So how is all this moved around? It's finished now, it's the last slide. Um, basically, ITM set up a hydrogen trading company so that we can make the link between the producers of the hydrogen, who are really interested in maximizing their assets rather than selling hydrogen, and the users of the hydrogen who don't want to own any assets. So we closed it out by owning and operating the Orkney Hydrogen Trading Company. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.